In The Penultimate Truth by Philip K. Dick, the narrative examines themes of deception, power, and the manipulation of reality. Set in a dystopian future, the novel revolves around a world where the vast majority of humanity lives underground in large ant tanks, believing that the surface is uninhabitable due to a nuclear war. The ruling elites, however, have kept this lie intact to control the population, maintaining their grip on power while living comfortably above ground. The novel's central theme of deception is explored through the government's manipulation of information. The ruling class has created a false narrative of an ongoing war and a devastated earth, forcing millions of people to toil in underground factories, producing goods for what they think is the war effort. This societal control is based on carefully crafted propaganda and the suppression of any truth that might disrupt the system. The novel raises the question of whether truth is something malleable, capable of being bent by those in power for their own purposes. The characters' struggles to uncover the truth show the difficulty of discerning reality in a world where information is constantly manipulated. The protagonist, Nicholas St. James, lives in one of these underground tanks and believes in the government's message. His life changes when he is forced to leave the tank to find a new artificial organ for a sick friend. This journey to the surface exposes him to the truth, that the world is not as devastated as he was led to believe, and the war has long since ended. This revelation serves as a powerful moment in the novel, illustrating the contrast between perceived reality and actual reality. Nicholas' discovery represents the awakening of an individual in the face of a deeply ingrained system of lies. Power and control play significant roles in the novel. The rulers of the surface world, like Stanton Bros, manipulate technology, media, and even history to ensure their dominance. They keep the masses underground through a continuous feed of fear and lies, creating a scenario where the truth is not just hidden but actively suppressed. The ruling class's monopolization of knowledge and the means of communication highlights the dangerous potential for governments or elites to control entire populations through misinformation. The people below are made to believe they are working for their own survival, but in reality, they are simply providing labor to sustain the luxurious lifestyles of those above. The imbalance of power is not only physical, those above live freely in the open air, but also psychological, as those underground are kept ignorant and docile. A recurring motif in the novel is the ambiguity of reality. Characters struggle with determining what is real and what is not, a common theme in Philip K. Dick's works. Technology, particularly the use of androids and artificial organs, further complicates the boundaries between the natural and artificial, life and non-life. This blurring of distinctions challenges the reader to question the nature of reality in a world dominated by technology and lies. The narrative shows that reality can be constructed and shaped by those with the power to do so, leaving individuals vulnerable to manipulation if they are unable to seek out the truth for themselves. Ultimately, the penultimate truth serves as a critique of authoritarian control, showing how easy it is to mislead a population when they are kept in the dark. The novel suggests that individuals must seek the truth themselves rather than relying on those in power to provide it. It also raises deeper philosophical questions about the nature of reality and the ways in which it can be distorted by those with the means to do so. Nicholas' journey is not just a physical escape from his underground world but also a metaphorical search for a deeper understanding of his existence. The novel's conclusion leaves readers with a sense of uncertainty about whether the truth can ever be fully grasped or whether it is always subject to the influence of those who seek to control it.